Hey, it's Heather from Tiller. Today we're going to be exploring the power of the Transactions tab. In this video, I'm going to show you some modifications you can make to the Transactions tab and how you can dig deeper into your data by using the built-in filtering and sorting features of Google Sheets. The Transactions tab is the heart of Tiller. Each day, the Tiller Feedbot pulls in the settled transactions from your bank, credit card, or whatever other financial institution you might have linked to this particular sheet. The Tiller Feedbot does this by adding a new row to your Tiller sheet for each new transaction. And then the Feedbot sorts the data by date so your newest transactions are on top. On the Transactions tab, you'll spend time reviewing your transactions and adding extra data to help you stay organized and understand your spending. We can see here there are a few transactions from the weekend that are uncategorized. I can take a look at those and assign a category that captures the intent of each purchase. On Saturday morning, I had breakfast with friends at our favorite bagel shop, so I'll categorize that as dining out. I did some laundry, so I'll categorize this $1.50 as laundry. I bought some groceries for the week on Sunday, and I went out to dinner with friends on Sunday night. I'll revisit my tiller sheet in a few days to review new transactions. Most transactions tabs have columns for your transaction date, amount, description, and bank information. The Feedbot visits the tab several times a day with updates. If the Feedbot recognizes a column header, like amount, date, or description, it will fill in the data for those columns for each new transaction. In addition to the default columns you see on your transactions tab, you can add in additional tiller columns as well. To see our full list of supported columns, visit tillerhq.com slash columns. You can also create columns for your own purposes that will be ignored by the Feedbot. The note column is an example of one that isn't used by the Feedbot, but may be useful to you. Perhaps I want to flag work expenses that I'll need to get reimbursed for from my employer. I can make note of that in the note column. Maybe I use my tiller sheet to manage my freelance consulting business. I could add an invoice number column to my sheet to help me track which invoices have been paid. You can modify any data on the Transactions tab. When you modify the data, it doesn't change the data on other tiller sheets you might be using. You can clarify a description, add notes, or create a split transaction by inserting a row and adding a second line. You can add rows for cash transactions not captured by tiller if you want to track your cash. The great thing about your tiller sheet is that it's a spreadsheet, so just like any other spreadsheet, you can filter and sort the data. Let's say I want to see all my transactions associated with dining out. I can filter the category column on the dining out category by clicking this little arrow on the column header, choosing clear, and then selecting only the dining out category. After I've reviewed what I needed to see for the dining out category, I can once again show the data for all categories by selecting that arrow again choosing Select All, and then clicking OK. If I want to review my transactions alphabetically by the account name, I can click the arrow on the account name header and choose to sort A to Z. Each column can be filtered or sorted for a drilled down data review. Perhaps I need to filter the transactions to recall how much I spent at a new upcycle clothing and accessories boutique. I remember the name of the store, so I can do a text filter by selecting the filter arrow on the description column, choosing Filter by Condition, choosing the Text Contains option, and then entering the name of the store to find all purchases that have that text in the description. Now I can see that I spent $96 on items at the store. The filtering and sorting options are expansive, so feel free to explore. If you have sorted your Transactions tab, remember it will be resorted by Newest Transactions first when the Feedbot adds in new transactions later today or tomorrow. The Feedbot doesn't mind if you have filters turned on, but don't forget they're on when you return to your tiller sheet. If you find you're missing transactions, it could be due to a filter. If you see any of the filter icons in the header rows highlighted in green, then you know a filter is turned on. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us using the live chat window on our website. 